we are discussing about the gate questions gate 2009 ECE and the topic we are discussing is electron devices in that one first one more question is in an n-type silicon crystal at room temperature which of the following can have a concentration of 4 into 10 power 19 per centimeter cube a silicon atoms b holes c dopant atoms d valence electrons in an n-type silicon crystal at room temperature which of the following can have a concentration of 4 into 10 power 19 per centimeter cube right answer for this question is dopant atom c so first you will see atomic concentration of pure silicon is 5 into 10 power 22 atoms per centimeter cube at room temperature for pure semiconductor intrinsic carrier concentration is given as 1.5 into 10 power 10 per centimeter cube so in intrinsic concentration is nothing but number of holes is equal to number of electrons always we know that one for pure semiconductor number of holes is equal to number of electrons so pure semiconductor the other name is nothing but intrinsic semiconductor so the carriers in intrinsic semiconductor is also called as intrinsic carrier concentration that's why ni is equal to n is equal to p which is 1.5 into 10 power 10 per centimeter cube but intrinsic semiconductor has a major disadvantage which is going to be having a very poor conductivity so to increase the conductivity we will go for the doping doping is the process of adding impurity to increase the concentration to increase the conductivity so after doping the intrinsic semiconductor turns towards extrinsic semiconductor that will be having very good conductivity in practice intrinsic semiconductor is never used always extrinsic semiconductors either n type or p type are going to be used so for extrinsic semiconductor we are going to add an impurity that impurity is going to be called as dopant so whether you are going to be the dopant depending on the dopant profile it may be either lightly doped or moderately doped or heavily doped so here we are going with a table doping profile and impurity concentration if the extrinsic semiconductor is lightly doped the meaning of that one is we have added very less impurity atoms that is one impurity atom per every 10 power 8 silicon atoms for every 100 million atoms we are going to add just a single impurity atom that is called as lightly doped whereas moderately doped is nothing but one impurity atom per every 10 power 6 silicon atoms and heavily doped is one impurity atom per every 10 power 3 silicon atoms that is for every 1000 atoms we are going to add one impurity which is called as heavily doped so here the question is related to the n-type semiconductor and even if you are going for the heavily doped also okay even for heavily doped that is nothing but one impurity atom will be added for every thousand silicon atoms so silicon is going to be having 5 into 10 power 22 silicon atoms by the time how many number of dopant atoms will be added for every thousand silicon atoms we are adding one impurity by that time if it is 5 into 10 power 22 silicon atoms how many number of impurities added that is called as doping concentration so since it is that is number of dopants it is indicated with nd for n type because every impurity atom will donate one extra electron so that they are called as donors so how many number of donors we are adding is called as doping concentration donor concentration indicated with nd nd is equal to 5 into 10 power 22 by 1 into 10 power 3 so number of dopants that is doping concentration is nothing but 5 into 10 power 19 dopants per centimeter cube if you go for the other options the other options are number of holes number of holes in an extrinsic semiconductor can be calculated from mass action law that is n is equal to n into p is equal to ni square mass action lies n into p is equal to ni square that is 
under thermal equilibrium always the product of total electron concentration and hole concentration are equal to square of intrinsic carrier concentration from that one we can write it for the n type nn into pn is equal to ni square pn that is nothing but holes in n type is equal to ni square by nn nn is approximately equal to nd so we can write pn is equal to pn is equal to ni square by nd which is nothing but 1.5 to 10 power 10 whole square by 5 into 10 power 19 it is only four and a half holes so holes are very very less and number of valence electrons number of valence electrons is nothing but we know that when every silicon is going to be having five valence electrons in its outermost orbit so silicon atom consisting of 5 into 10 power 22 atoms per centimeter cube and every atom consisting of four valence electrons the total is nothing but 4 into 5 into 10 power 22 which is nothing but 20 into 10 power 22 otherwise we can write it as 2 into 10 power 23 valence electrons per centimeter cube so it is very large compared to the given number so holes are very small valence electrons are very large dopant atoms are in the range of 10 power 19 so in the question in an n-type silicon crystal at room temperature dopant atoms can have a concentration of 4 into 10 power 19 per centimeter cube this is the right answer thank you